Hello all, I am Arun Gitu. I have been working for the last 30 plus years with either computer systems or supply chain computer systems or as a supply chain practitioner. Over the next series of videos, I want to talk about maximizing ROI when we implement supply chain computer systems or supply chain processes. In short, we can maximize ROI by implementing processes that are executed by computer systems. And this is what I mean by execution systems. To fully understand execution systems, let's go back to the era before computers and trace the evolution of computer systems. I will illustrate this evolution using a simple example of a store that buys and sells one item and which opened for business before the computer revolution, let's say, on January 2nd, 1970 and recorded their transactions on paper ledgers. The entries on the paper ledger will look something like this, uh, perhaps one for each day. On day one of the business, they received 100 units from their supplier and sold a total of 15 units to two customers. On day two, the balance of 85 will be carried over onto a new page. And let's say they sold 20 units on day two, which will be recorded as shown. When computers began to be used for business transactions, all that was done was to move the paper ledger to an electronic ledger. Perhaps there was no need to have a new page for every day, and perhaps there was no need to carry over previous day's balance because they could be quickly derived. But essentially, these electronic ledgers replicated paper ledgers. The next step in this evolution was information systems. We still had the ledger, but also perhaps some summarized data in the form of daily balances. But note, there is more information, but still no call to action. Then came the decision support systems, where the computer system suggested that some decision needs to be taken by the user. In our simple example, the balance is displayed with an orange background, suggesting that a new PO be placed since the balance is less than 70 units. The final step in the evolution is the rise of execution systems. Here, not only do we have all the pieces of the decision support system, but the computer actually takes action and places the PO to the supplier since the balance has dropped below uh, 70. This is a big step. If we have to go from decision support system to execution system, there needs to be at least a couple of things in place. Good master data and explicit rules implemented in the system. I will talk more about these in my next video on automating purchase order creation. But the main point here is the execution system is what we should aspire to when we implement supply chain systems or other, even other computer systems. Execution systems will maximize ROI by reducing errors, performing repetitious work consistently based on collective best practices, and freeing human resources to focus on creative work. This focus on creative work will increase job satisfaction, thus increasing productivity of perhaps the most expensive resource, that is human resource. And of course, if we are more productive or more efficient than our competitors, then we can provide better value to our customers and therefore stand a better chance of winning in the marketplace. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and I will try to answer as much as I can. Thank you.